Yes, welcome my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Raghuvira Deshpande from Pune, Maharashtra State, India would like to welcome all my students and the viewers for the very interesting class of today that is Three Roga Prasuti Tantra and we are talking, there is Prasuti Tantra is a paper one and Three Roga regarding the female gynecological problems, paper two and in that gynecological problems it is a modern gynecological part. This is cervical erosion that we are going to talk today. One part is cervix and second is a uterus. Two problems, cervical erosion and retroverted uterus. Retrovert means on the back side. Uterus, garbhashaya, pichle baju mein pad jata hai. Or cervical erosion ka matlab hota hai, jo bhi cervix ka part hai na. Pahle to ladies mein bahar ka part hota hai, labia, minora, majora, vagina, that is a baby path that means the delivery takes place and then you, if you enter it is a cervix is like a mouth of the uterus cervix can be called as the mouth of the uterus then you enter into the uterus then the fallopian tubes then the ovaries etc you know this structure anatomical structure that is in the lower abdomen apanavayu karyakshetra apanavayu okay so cervix is a very important part because this is the entry door of the uterus so, cervical erosion is like some problem. Uh, in Marathi, when I was practicing 40 years back uh, regarding village place, Dhanori in Pune city, Chandi uh, Cha a very interesting word. Chandi Cha Azar, Aisa Shabda Tha Marathi Basha Me, Hamare village place Me, Isko cervical erosion. Ko. It's an inflammation of the cervix. Uh, but why this word Chandi? Chandi is a silver. And that particular erosion looks like a silver, silver coating. You know, the there are some uh, our vessels and all this thing with the silver coating. Silver is a very white. So it was looking like that silver coating. So Chandi Saaza. And uh, many times, of course, we will discuss in detail, but many times the cervical erosion can be, I am saying not 100%, can be a pre-malignancy stage. Very interesting, pre-malignancy. So there are a lot of chances that cervical erosion can be get converted to the cancer of the uterus, cancer of the cervix, etc. In that way, this particular disease in the female is important. Okay. And retroverted uterus, it has also its own problem. Let us see what these uh, two conditions are. First, we will talk about. So in your notebook, again, as usual, you are expected to write some. Yes. Keywords, very important word. Dr. Deshpande is mentioning. So you write down the title, big title. Open your notebook, 16th of January, 2024. Cervical erosion is a big title. The synonyms, the pariyai now, another names, but it not necessary. I don't find these uh, names are very important, but just hear and forget. Cervical ectopy and cervical ectropy on. Cervical ectropy is the word for cervical erosion. Cervical ectropion is also the word for cervical erosion. But most popular word for the patient, for the doctors is cervical erosion. Now, let us see what it is, cervical erosion. It is a condition in which cells which normally lie inside the cervical canal. Are you getting my point? Inside, in inner lining that extend to the cervix, surface of the cervix. Whichever the cells are inside, they come out and cover the whole external part, external surface. And that is called as a cervical erosion. Cells that which normally lie inside, they come out. They come out. Cervical canal extend to the surface of the cervix. This is a definition. Column, this is a a uh, little bit details about the uh, structural changes. Columnar epithelium, you know, these are the walls are having big columns. Columnar epithelium may extend further downward and protrude on the surface of cervical os. This terminology is very important, cervical os. I think in one of my discussion of habitual abortion, Remember those things, habitual abortion. I have mentioned about this cervical os. 
Do you remember that some ladies, this cervical ulcer is like a mouth of the uterus. It loose, having not firm consistency. Tone is not proper. So it cannot hold the nine-month baby. And that cervical incompetence, do you remember that word in abortion? Cervical incompetence means that is not powerful. So the doctor in this case, because repeated, repeated, repeated abortions, one time abortion, again next year abortion, again next year abortion. What is problem? Cervical incompetency, not proper cervix. Then doctor do, yes, cervical tightening with the, with the uh, you know, the, uh, what you can say, the, in Marathi we call it as a thread, a cotton thread. Or a typical type of, not cotton exactly, another type of the thread. So, that cervical tightening is done. That, that is afterwards at the 9 month, 9 days, it is cut. But first, tightening is done. And ladies ask to lie down flat for the 9 months, only for eating, only for toilet, that's it. Complete bed rest for cervical tightening, after cervical tightening, for cervical incompetence in habitual abortion. At that time, I use this word. Huh? Okay. So, and on to the vaginal portion of cervix. Even at the lower part, that column epithelium comes outside. It may be undergo squamous metaplasia. This particular epithelium changes into the squamous multiplication, cell multiplication, metaplasia and transform. This column epithelium transform to the stratified Squamous epithelium. Simple columnar epithelium. This change histology. This is called as a histological changes. You just write down histology change. Histology change. What is changing? Columnar epithelium changing to stratified squamous epithelium. You can write down these two words only. Columnar epithelium changing to stratified squamous epithelium. This is a whole introduction of cervical erosion. Okay, my dear friends. Now, I will wait. You write down these two types of the cervical erosion. Very simple. One is a physiological, that is normal. Can you see the cursor? And another is a abnormal, pathological. Physiological, pathological. Very simple to remember. Next. Now, we will discuss the causes of cervical erosion. Causes, etiology, nidana in Ayurveda. So, first physiological cause is in the lady, estrogen level is too high. Too. Estrogen level is high. So, that more multiplication of the cells and they coming out on the border, on the surface of the cervix. Pregnancy is one of the reason. Can you see here cursor? Birth control peel, that is called as OC pills. Oral contraceptive pills like maladi. Birth may lead to cervical erosion in female child due to the response to the maternal estrogen. Hmm? Baby may lead to the cervical erosion in the female child due to the response to the maternal estrogen. From the because of the mother, the baby may suffer. Hormone replacement, but these are physiological, remember. These are not abnormal. Hormone replacement therapy, that is after menopause. You know, after 45 years of age, the lady stops menstrual cycle. You know that. And that period is called as menopause. And in that menopause, estrogen deficiency. So, whenever there are a lot of hot flushes, the lady is suffering from very, very hot. Like something, fumes are coming from the body. That is called as a hot flushes. Menopause is a topic for you. Remember this thing. Huh? And in that menopausal period, some doctors, they prescribe estrogen injection or estrogen patch on the skin. That is called as a hormonal replacement therapy. But for our practice, this pathological cervical erosion is more common and more we have to think about. First cause is infection in the cervical region, maybe bacteria, maybe fungus. Yeast is like a fungus. Chronic Vaginal infection, this is the cause of cervical erosion because it is entering from the outside to inside. Huh? Chemical contraception, chemical contraception, like some ladies, some females, 
दे यूज एंटी स्पर्म जेल एंटी स्पर्म जेल एज ए फैमिली प्लैनिंग एंटी स्पर्म जेल टू किल द स्पर्मेटोज हुआ चेंज द नॉर्मल लेवल ऑफ वजैनल एसिडिटी बिकॉज वजैनल एसिडिटी इज वेरी यूजफुल रिमेंबर बिकॉज दे प्रिवेंट द एंट्री ऑफ बैक्टीरिया वजैनल एसिडिटी प्रिवेंट्स बट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस एंटी स्पर्म जेल एसिडिटी गोल्स बैक्टीरिया एंटर एंड सर्वाइकल इरोजन सिंपल थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट सिम्टम्स फिजियोलॉजिकल सर्वाइकल इरोजन नो सिम्टम नो नो सिम्टम पैथोलॉजिकल सर्वाइकल इरोजन मोस्टली हियर कैन यू सी द फंगस सो बिकॉज ऑफ द फंगस फंगस मीन्स इचिंग फंगस मीन्स इचिंग नेवर फर गेट two things always cause the itching in our medical practice whenever the patient complains male female anywhere itching pruritus you remember two causes one is fungus and second is allergy allergy and fungus are the two important causes for itching or pruritus maybe eye itching anywhere itching okay then there may be irritation pain there may be pain and bleeding during or after the coitus this is very important after sexual intercourse there may be pain there may be bleeding abnormal vaginal discharge especially white discharge brown discharge with typical smell huh? so these bad discharges leucorrhea secretions are indicating that cervical has cervical erosion the leucorrhea the main cause of leucorrhea please write down this is important statement i am telling you main cause of leucorrhea l e u c o r r h o e a leucorrhea is yes white discharge in the ladies white discharge the main cause is cervical erosion you can try in this patient just i remember himalaya company himalaya company ayurvedic tablet leucol l u k o l tablet leucol l u k o l two tablet morning afternoon evening you try it in the leucorrhea patient okay now diagnosis diagnosis of cervical erosion first physiological physiological there are no symptoms asymptomatic and automatically okay no problem automatically okay after 2 3 5 7 days patient usually do not go to doctor physiological pathological there are lot of symptoms then pv examination is done by the doctor per vaginal examination you will be surprised but my dear friends whenever examination parts come na whenever in our lecture dr deshpande always remember his own mobile app i will repeat every time mobile app what is the name ayurveda academy where it is google play store safe 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 to download how much money no money free download and there you get clinical examination program say maybe 400 rupees but that is very useful because not only nervous system respiratory cardiovascular but these pediatric examination gynecological examination are given how to perform very very interesting you see that pap smear huh? this is very interesting a huh? pap smear acq is always as pap smear it is some swab is taken and it is examined under microscope some swab with spatula is taken that cervical uh, discharges and examine then there is another important cervical biopsy fine needle aspiration cytology f n a c please write down f f capital f n a c f capital f n capital a capital c capital f n a c f n a c biopsy What is this? What is full name? 
write down fine f i n e fine needle n w -E d l e aspiration fine needle aspiration cytology study of the cells cytology fine needle aspiration cytology this is this another name for biopsy uh, and biopsy is usually done usually done to decide whether this particular condition is benign b e n i g n benign or malignant m a l i g n a n t malignant benign no cancer malignant then cancer and that is always done anywhere anytime with the biopsy don't forget for the diagnosis of benign or malignant cancer or it is a cancer next cervical erosion we are talking about physiological cervical erosion automatic cure patient don't come to the doctor so no necessary of any management any treatment nothing automatic okay resolves by itself but if it is abnormal cervical cautery is done this word is very important i am waiting for your writing <laughs> i am waiting for your writing okay cervical cursor is there so what we should write this word cervical cauterization is very important uh, management you know the cautery cautery is a electrical hot touch electrical hot touch by the rod electrical cautery so cervical cautery is done write down write down cautery very important uh, for cervical erosion many times we require cautery in addition to antibiotics antifungal treatment but cautery is needed the why, why it is done to destroy the columnar cells so that normal squamous cells can grow in their place again columnar cells were developed because of the pathology now one has to burn that cells bad cells and establish the normal squamous cells simple next in the modern science they do the electro cautery just now i have said then creo cautery diathermy and the most important is antibiotics in the ayurveda we do the agni karma agni karma very important yoni prakshalana like for example trifala decoction dhavana yoni dhavana yoni prakshalana same words same meaning yoni prakshalana yoni dhavana and there also we can keep yoni pichu pichu is a swab yoni pichu pichu is a swab keep in the vaginal that particular part okay next we are talking about don't forget cervical erosion cervical erosion after cervical cautery 15 days increased vaginal discharge is normal patient is getting afraid oh my god doctor has done the cautery and my discharge is more omg oh my god what is this but that is normal try to make a counseling to the patient beforehand not afterwards you explain what can happen why the discharge is increasing because waste tissue is excreted waste is going out waste is going out so discharge is more nothing to be worried about no worry no tension cervical erosion requires minimum 6 to 8 weeks for healing purpose 1 and 1/2 to 2 month are required then in that period during the treatment period don't do any sexual activity especially coitus no intercourse then pichu and dushesh prakshalana to protect the recovering area to prevent the injury and infection so yoni swab uh, vaginal swab can be take uh, uh, kept over there trifala dhavana can be done so that is a prevention for the any infection in that area okay now we have the another topic 
connected to the cervical region. Connected to the cervical erosion. So this is a new topic, you can say. Okay. So write down the topic. Cervical. Cervical. Inter. Sorry. Intra epithelial neoplasm. Cancer. Neoplasm. C R N. This title you write down in your notebook. I will wait. Or there may be another word. Cervical dysplasia. Cervical abnormal. Abnormal says dysplasia. Cervical dysplasia is a condition in which healthy cells on the cervix undergo abnormal changes. In cervical dysplasia, the abnormal cells are not cancerous. Remember, this is not the first uh, final cancer stage, but can develop into cancer if not detected early and treated. So I will again wait. You are right down. Don't get misunderstanding. Cervical dysplasia is not cancer. But you can say it can pre-cancer stage. Pre before. Pre-cancer stage. Cervical dysplasia. Right on dictation. Cervical dysplasia. Cursor is here. Cervical dysplasia is right down, right down. Pre-cancer. Pre before, before. Maybe it can turn into cancer. So pre-cancer stage. That's it. Okay. Now let us see what is this serious condition. So must be aware of that condition. First is a nidana. That is cause, etiology. Different words. There is a most important viral infection is there. And this word is very common and very important. Again, I will dictate you. Write down this thing. Human papilloma virus. Please write down. Human papilloma virus. Human papilloma virus. HPV. Both the words, short form and long form, are very, very famous. In the examination, in the oral, you will be asked, what is this HPV? So you tell them that this is a virus, human papilloma virus, which is affecting cervix. HPV is a sexually transmitted virus. So this is venereal disease. We have just two days back, we have seen that AIDS, HIV, sexually transmitted diseases. We have discussed a lot. So this is one of that disease. HPV, sexually transmitted virus during the male-female intercourse. And there are different strains. Some of the low risk and cause genital warts. So this virus also can develop genital warts, uh, genital warts. Others are high risk and cause all changes that can turn into cervical dysplasia and cancer. Uh, so final stage of the cancer will create it. Okay. Who are the patients, who are the ladies which have chances of getting cancer from this condition? So number one, Suppressed immune system. Suppressed immune system. Like for example, there are some diseases. Autoimmune diseases. These patients can get the cervical cancer. Huh? Autoimmune diseases. For example, uh, 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 MND, multiple uh, motor neuron disease. Systemic uh, erythematosus, lupus erythematosus, the rheumatoid arthritis. There are a lot of things where the immunity is low. Ojakshaya in Ayurveda. Ojakshaya. The Ojakshaya patient will get cervical cancer. Then some people, they have the immunosuppressant drugs. These autoimmune diseases, the steroids are given. Lot of steroids. So these suppress your immunity. For example, in the cases of kidney problem, nephrotic syndrome, Vysoron, these steroids are given, they suppress your immunity. Uh, psoriasis. Some doctors prescribe steroids. So these drugs can give the immune system is weak. Cervical cancer. Multiple sex partners. Very dangerous. Multiple. Male if visits uh, one day in the this lady intercourse, another day, another lady intercourse. That is absolutely ridiculous and has a danger to the lady. Basically, it's a problem to the ladies. Huh? Even especially what I uh, want to say here, you can understand the prostitutes. 
uh, prostitutes, sex workers, they have a the lot of chances of getting this HPV virus. Prostitutes or the sex workers, ladies, they have the problem of HPV virus. Giving birth before the age of 16. See this. Okay? There is a chance of getting this infection, HPV. Sexual intercourse before the age of 18. Huh? So the HPV virus is common. Smoking cigarettes. This is all of the risk factor. These ladies, these girls can get the chances of HPV virus. Okay. Classification. Sin, C-I-N-1, that is mild dysplasia. C-I-N, Sin-2, moderate dysplasia. C-I-N, that is cervical. 3, that is severe dysplasia or carcinoma in C-2. Can you see this word? Carcinoma in C-2. This is not the word only for this cervical cancer. Any breast cancer, uterine cancer, liver cancer, when the cancer cells are stay restricted at the site of origin. For example, if you have the liver cancer, some patient, uh, the cancer cells remain in the liver only. Breast cancer, cancer cells liver uh, stay only in the breast. That is called as a carcinoma in situ, in situ, at that place only. And what is the another word, sir? Another word? That is metastasis. That means cancer cells through the blood or through the lymphatics spread anywhere in the body, moving here and there. Cancer is in the liver, but that cells, cancer cells can go into the vertebral column. Oh, yes, this can happen. So this particular moving is called the metastasis. But the cancer is restricted to the specific organ that is carcinoma in situ. Carcinoma in C2 is a group of abnormal cells that are found only in the place where they are first formed in the body. So liver cancer, carcinoma in C2 in liver. Breast cancer, carcinoma in C2 in breast. Okay. These abnormal cells may become cancerous and spread to the nearby normal tissue. The spread of cancer. Okay. What about the diagnosis? There are typically no symptoms of cervical dysplasia. Yes, sometimes abnormal bleeding may occur in the ladies. However, in the absence of symptoms, the cell changes are invisible to the naked eye and usually found during a regular pap smear examination. Here is the importance of pap smear, taking the swab from the cervix and examining under a microscope. So papaniculau, this pap smear is a full name, papaniculau smear. This pap smear, papaniculau smear, is, should be done frequently every after two or three months in the to prevent that particular spread of the cancer or to early detection of cancer. Pap test results will indicate a squamous intra-epithelial lesion. There are different categories of uh, this particular lesion, including low-grade SIL, that is S for squamous. Squamous intra-epithelial lesion. Squamous. Just wait. I am waiting. I am waiting. You are writing. When I am waiting, you are writing. Write down this thing. Pap test. Pap test indicate this one. Cursor. Squamous intraepithelial lesion. Squamous intraepithelial lesion. There are two types low grade and high grade. Low grade and high grade. Okay. Now, many times this low grade upper one resolve, automatically cure. Thumbs up. Automatically cure. A follow up should be done in case of this one high grade. Uh, uh, squamous intraepithelial lesion, colonoscopy and cervical biopsy may be done. Biopsy is important. Now, about the treatment part. Treatment of cervical dysplasia depends on the severity. Mild dysplasia may not be treated 
immediately because it can resolve even without treatment. So why to treat? Huh? Repeated pap smear, repeated pap smear may be done every three to six months. Periodically, pap smear test should be done in this. CIN 2 or 3 treatment can include number 1 cryo surgery, laser therapy, cone biopsy, loop electrosurgical excision procedure. So, some of the names you must remember, these are type of this minor radiation treatments. My dear friends, we are starting the new topic of today after half an hour, 34 minutes finished. Still, we have uh, in hand, our hand nearly 25 minutes. Okay. So, we will talk about retroverted uterus. I will wait. You write down this name. Retroverted uterus. Hmm? Retroverted. What is it? In simple words, you write down this one. Backward position at the cervix. Back, uterus position. Backward on the back side. Backward position at the cervix instead of antiverted forward. It is on the back side. Uterus is on the back side. Usually it should be like this, but it is on the back side. A retroverted uterus is called as, here is another name, please write down, tilted. Tilt. Normally it is like this, tilt. Tilted uterus. A category that also includes antiverted uterus, which is a uterus that is tilted forward rather than the backward. So, both conditions are called as a tilted uterus. Okay. Now, there are the synonyms. Pariyai Navi. Different names for retroverted uterus. What are the another names? Not so much important. Tipped, T I P -P -E -P -D, tipped uterus. Retroflexed uterus on the back side. Retro means back. Uterine, retroversion, retroversion. Then backward uterus. Simple words to remember. Backward uterus and uterine retro displacement. So these are the different words. But I will suggest you can write down only this word. Backward uterus. Okay. Now. We will discuss something about the causes. Retroverted uterus is a standard variation of pelvic anatomy, which many women are either born with from, from the birth itself, it is retroverted, and sometimes it is acquired after maturity, after the age of 20, after the age of 22, the retroverted uterus happens. Actually, about a quarter of women, one-fourth, have a retroverted uterus. For example, 25% ladies, if you make a survey of 100 ladies, you will find, the, uh, do the sonography, you will find 25% uh, ladies have the retroverted uterus. There may be some issues like genetics. Maybe mother, maybe aunt, maybe sister, they have the same problem, genetics. In other instances, the condition may have some different cause which is often associated with pelvic scarring or adhesions. These two words are important to understand why the uterus is going back. Why the uterus is going back? Write down these reasons. Pelvic scarring. Scarring is like a fibrotic. Whenever we have the wound and wound is healing, there is a white streak, you know, that is called as a fibrous streak. Similarly, pelvic scarring and adhesions because of some gonorrhea, for example. In the gonorrhea, there are always chances of getting adhesions. Huh? These include, number one, the different reasons are there for the retroverted uterus. I think before discussion, you write down all uh, five words. For the causes of causes of retroverted uterus. Please write down this cause. Number one. Write down. Number one. Endometriosis. Don't write down detail. Only keywords. Endometriosis. I will explain what is endometriosis. Number two. Second cause. Of what? Backward uterus. Backward uterus. 
that is fibroid uterine fibroid tumor then pid short form pid pelvic inflammatory diseases then fourth history of pelvic surgery surgery is important scar it is always scar no? history of previous pregnancy so we will discuss these all the 1 2 3 4 5 causes of backward uterus what is endometriosis endometrial scar tissue or the adhesions can cause the uterus to stick in a backward position almost like gluing it in place there are scars actually endometriosis you will ask sir what is endometriosis uterine internal cells uterus garbhashay uske jo andar wale cells hote hain na uterus ke andar wale cells wo kahi bhi bahar nirman ho jate hain कई कबार फेलोपियन ट्यूब पर आ जाते हैं कई कबार ओवरीज पर आ जाते हैं वो सेल्स बोल रहा हूं मैं यूटेरस के अंदर होने वाले सेल्स बाहर निकल आते हैं बहुत सारे रीजन की वजह से बाहर आ जाते हैं और चिप जाते हैं चिपक जाते हैं और जरूरी उसकी ग्रोथ होती है कई कबार फेलोपियन ट्यूब में ग्रोथ हो जाएगी तो यूटेरस जैसे वो एक्ट करेगा ना आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट यूटेरस की जो अंदर वाली जो वॉल है अंतर क्या बोलते हैं ना कवरिंग तो उसका फंक्शन क्या है भैया वो तो मेस्ट्रो साइकिल में काम आता है ना ब्लीडिंग होने के लिए तो ये अभी ये सेल्स बाहर कहीं निर्माण हो गए पैदा हो गए चिपक गए फेलोपियन ट्यूब के ऊपर ओवरी के ऊपर पेरिटोनियम के ऊपर तो क्या हो जाएगा गड़बड़ी हो जाएगी ब्लीडिंग हो जाएगा ज्यादा ऐसी पेन हो, होने लगेगा ड्यूरिंग द मेस्ट्रो साइकिल तो दैट इज एंडोमेट्रियोसिस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड देर इज ऑलवेज स्कार टिश्यू और एडेजेंस एंड देयर बाय दूटेरस बिकम रेट्रोवर्टेड फाइब्रॉइड Tumor, uterine fibroids can cause uterus because it is so bulky to become stuck or mishappen or tilt backward because of the fibroid pressure is there on the back side. Pelvic inflammatory disease very common in the practice PID. When left untreated, the PID can cause scarring which may have similar effect like endometriosis. Fibrous tissue scar they always push. the back uterus will go back my dear friends pid is very very important reason for infertility right down in front also one of the important reason for dysfunctional uterine bleeding so this pid disease is very very important in our medical practice history of pelvic surgery pelvic surgery can also cause scar or the fibrous tissue uterus back uterus back retroverted history of previous pregnancy in some instances the ligaments holding the uterus in place become overly stretched during the pregnancy and they they stay as it is this may allow the uterus so the support will go support will go because ligaments which are holding the uterus they become loose and then fall down uterus go back okay next retroverted uterus symptoms some women no symptom asymptomatic but in some ladies there may be dyspareunia painful intercourse sex painful intercourse that is dyspareunia second dysmenorrhea during the menstrual cycle there will be lot of pain urinary tract infections can take place that is uti mild incontinence what is the uh, meaning of incontinence the dribbling micturition without notice the lady don't know that i have fall down the few drops of urine by only <laughs> coughing or sneezing automatic so lose control on the bladder sphincters that is called the incontinence okay increased urinary frequency or feeling of pressure always in the bladder because uterus is on the back side giving the pressure on the urinary bladder then trouble inserting the tampons protrusion of lower abdomen a little bit looking like a bulky okay so my dear friends i will request that you can write down at least at least three four symptoms of retroverted or backward uterus please write down at least four symptoms 
नंबर वन डिस्पारोनिया कर्सर 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 नंबर टू डिसमेनोरिया नंबर थ्री यूटीआई एंड इनकॉन्ट माइल्ड इनकॉन्टिन्यूस तो यू एटलीस्ट यू रिमेंबर दीज फोर सिम्टम्स रिट्रो वर्टेड यूटेरस नेक्स्ट नाउ रिट्रोवर्टेड यूटेरस एंड सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी A retroverted uterus does not usually interfere. It is no problem with the sexual sensation. It can, however, make sexual intercourse painful. That is called as a dyspareunia in some instances, not for everybody. This discomfort may be more pronounced in certain positions, sexual positions. Changing sexual position can reduce this type of the discomfort. So this is the most important point. some uh, patients may ask you about these problems now retroverted uterus and let us talk about fertility new progeny new child giving the birth to the child a retroverted uterus does not typically affect a woman's ability to conceive no problem lady can definitely get pregnant this condition is sometimes associated with diagnosed that may affect fertility potential if the retroverted uterus is because of the endometriosis problem there may be infertility it is not because of the retroverted uterus it is because of the endometriosis but retroverted uterus is caused by the endometriosis and endometriosis is a cause of bad luck infertility similarly uterine fibroid can give the problem with the pregnancy Occurrence of consume होने के लिए fibroids can cause problem PID pelvic inflammatory disease also can give problem to conceive to be pregnant to make pregnant to get pregnant the problems will be arise but these problems are basically because of endometriosis uterine fibroids and PID not solely not alone with the retroverted uterus retroverted uterus have has these causes so the Our ladies become uh, infertile. Next, retroverted uterus and pregnancy. Retroverted uterus does not typically affect the nine month nine days viability of pregnancy. No problem, full term baby. No problem. It may create more pressure on the bladder, urinary bladder, during the first trimester, first, second, and third month. that may cause either increased incontinence what is incontinence unnoticed passing of urine unnoticed passing of urine incontinence and difficulty in getting urination it can also cause back pain for the some woman the uterus may also be hardened very hard to see via ultrasound until it begins to enlarge with pregnancy transvaginal ultrasound during the first trimester may be necessary to see the progression of pregnancy whether pregnancy is going well or not next the uterus should expand and strengthen towards the end of the first trimester typically between 10 to 12 weeks okay this will cause uterus to lift out of the pelvis and no longer tilt on the backward side on occasion the uterus is not able to not make it stiff shift i am sorry shifting sometimes this may caused by adhesions that keep the uterus anchored into the pelvis there may be some fibrous bands are there adhesion adhesion matlab hai do cheeze milte rehna adhesion ha it's if getting we apply some sticking plaster like join together adhesions and because of that adhesion that it cannot uh, what is shift if the uterus does not shift forward the risk of miscarriage may increase it should turn on the anterior side but if it is not coming on the anterior side uterus then miscarriage can happen this is known as incarcerated uterus please write down this word in carcerated uterus in carcerated uterus okay 
now about the treatment treatment for retroverted uterus treatment part first is exercise certain types of exercises designed to strengthen the ligaments of course of the uterus and tendons that hold the uterus in upright position may be beneficial the most famous exercise for this is kegel exercise i request right and i will wait that is kegel exercise is very very important kegel as you see that i have some program as a sex guide in my mobile app program there and also on the youtube you can get that i have made one video on the kegel exercise how it should be done uh, so kegel exercises are important also in the male ma ali for the erectile dysfunction problem erectile dysfunction problem kegel exercise best okay what is this kegel exercise see here is a description we have described this tighten tighten and hold the pelvis pelvis floor muscles for 5 seconds count 1 2 thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand etc uh, count for five seconds so holding and tightening the pelvic floor muscles actually in a simple way i can explain you you know everybody knows that uh, where is that anal opening so what you have to do you have to stretch uh, sorry suck up that hole imaginary imagination suck up and hold it there for 5 seconds relax again hold it that particular hole anal opening and automatically you will feeling uh, uh, getting more tone to the pelvic uh, all the muscles next relax the pelvic muscles it is suggested to do the 10 to 20 kegel exercises 3 to 4 times each day however these will not provide relief if the uterus is stuck in the place because of the scarring or adhesion so whenever there is a scarring adhesion it is very tight and it cannot increase the elasticity so there are no uses of kegel exercises in the patients of having scar fibrous tissue or adhesion no use because elasticity will not increase okay we are talking about retroverted uterus pessary device pessary write down this word please p e double s a r y retroverted uterus pelvic first you have written down kegel exercises next is a pessary device and next is a surgical technique so three management programs you must write down in the examination pessary device pessaries are made from silicon or plastic pessaries are made from silicon or plastic they are small devices which can be inserted into the vagina to prop the uterus into an upright position pessaries can be used on either a temporarily or on the permanent basis they have been associated with infection if it left for longer time so better not to use for the longer time these pessaries can carry some infection after long standing stay in that particular place surgical techniques uterine suspension procedure uterine suspension procedure or uplift procedure uplift procedure okay so my dear friends this is today's lecture which has conducted with three different things one we started with the cervical erosion physiological as well as pathological and then we have also seen the cervical dysplasia and there we have seen the importance of pap smear frequent pap smear and carcinoma in situ what is that we have seen also the risk factors and the cause that is the main cause is this one you never forget this one hpv that is a venereal disease sexually transmitted disease human papilloma virus hpv very important and then in the beginning we have also talked a lot about cervical erosion there are two types physiological and pathological huh? and uh, 
bad discharge is there tablet lucol of himalaya company everybody can try and this is related with the estrogen over secretion estrogen over secretion so my dear friends this is the basic topic that we have finished but still there are 5 minutes to go so i would like i would like to tell you the important points from the paper 1 and paper 2 once again every time just having the here number 1 garbha vidnyani second garbhini vidnyani pregnant lady number 3 गर्भ व्यापद नंबर फोर गर्भोपद्रव नंबर फाइव प्रसव विज्ञान नंबर सिक्स प्रसव व्यापद नंबर सेवन सुतिका विज्ञान दैट इज परपेरियल पीरियड देन एट पार्ट दैट इज सुतिका रोग डिसीजेस ड्यूरिंग द परपेरियल पीरियड देन मूड गर्भ पॉइंट नंबर नाइन and point number 10 is a kutumba niyojan or family planning programs that is all about paper 1 now i am going to explain or mention the points in paper 2 huh? that is a stri rog first was prasuti vidyana so in paper 2 there is a stri sharira vidyana anatomy and physiology stri sharira vidyana then stri sharira kriya like for example menstrual cycle rajo vikar then shukra vichar fifth kashtartav kasht artav that is a dysmenorrhea sixth rakta pradar rakta pradar that is menorrhagia excessive bleeding on one day or in spite of three days the bleeding continues for six or seven days everything is under rakta pradar vyadhi uh, menorrhagia metrorrhagia polymenorrhea all these things then seventh is a yoni vyapat uh, different problems of the uh, vagina yoni vyapat then yoni kand then yoni arsh eighth or ninth point 10th is a niruddha yoni 11th is a garbhashay arbud 12th point rakt gulm 13th point stri vandhyatva infertility 14th point by the by i have some videos on the youtube about infertility there is a very good video don't forget to see before your examination because that video will definitely help you if the vandhyatva prashna has come in the examination point then 14th is a stan rog 15 is a sthanik chikitsa now i would like to mention some of the yoni vyapada names so just revise the yoni vyapada names there are you know the 20 is a number of yoni vyapada so just listen which are those yoni vyapada vataj yoni vyapada pittaj yoni vyapada कफज योनि व्यापद सिंपल टू रिमेम्बर सान्निपातिक योनि व्यापद असृजा योनि व्यापद अरजस्का योनि व्यापद अचरणा योनि व्यापद अतिचरणा योनि व्यापद प्राकचरणा योनि व्यापद उपप्लुता योनि व्यापद परिप्लुता योनि व्यापद उदावर्ता योनि व्यापद सुचिमुखी योनि व्यापद अंतर्मुखी योनि व्यापद कर्णिनी योनि व्यापद शुष्का योनि व्यापद वामिनी योनि व्यापद पुत्रग्नि योनि व्यापद शंडी योनि व्यापद एंड महायोनि ट्वेंटी योनि व्यापद दीज आर ऑल मेन्शन बाय चरक सो इन वातज योनि व्यापद बेसिकली द कॉज इज वातकर आहार विहार एंड मेन सिम्टम इज yoni shul in pittaj yoni vyapad the main cause is pitt prakopak ahar vihar this is the main reason and of course there is a rakta adhikya that means rajas prava will be more there will be fever because it is a pitt and there will be pandu also anemic condition kafaj yoni vyapad because of the kafa kar ahar vihar and main for kafa is a yoni kandu don't forget yoni kandu itching will be there in sannipatika yoni vyapada 
त्रिदोष प्रकोपक आहार विहार ओके एंड द मोस्ट कॉमन सिम्टम्स आर योनी दाह बर्निंग योनी शूल एंड द पिचिल स्त्राव दैट इज सन्निपात असृज योनी व्याप असृज इज ब्लड रक्त धातु सो इट इज रक्त एंड पित्तवर्धक आहार विहार एंड बेसिकली द सिम्टम्स आर योनिगत स दाह रक्त स्त्रावाधिक्य बर्निंग एंड एक्सेसिव ब्लडिंग नेक्स्ट इज अरजस्का योनी व्यापद द कॉज इज पित्तकर एंड रक्त दुष्टी हेतु पित्तकर एंड रक्त दुष्टी हेतु देन बेसिकली सिम्टम्स आर योनी दाह अरजस्का देन मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट अरजस्का अनार्तव अमेनोरिया इन इंग्लिश इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ अमेनोरिया अरजस्का देन अचरणा is because of the uncleanliness unhygiene during the menstrual cycle then prameha upadrava complication of diabetes mellitus that is a charana yoni vyapad what are the symptoms yoni kandu fungal infection will be there and maithuna ichcha adhik excessive desire for the sex okay then eight is a ati charana the cause is ati vyavay अतिचरण द कॉज इज अति व्यवाय एंड लक्षण आर योनी शूल पेन एवरीवेयर देर इज बिकॉज नहीं योनी व्यापक बिकॉज ऑफ विदाउट वात सो इन एवरीवेयर यू राइट डाउन वात 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 एवरीवेयर ट्वेंटी योनी दैट व्यापक ओके सो दियर अगेन बिकॉज ऑफ द अति व्यवाय देयर लक्षण आर योनी सुक्ति एंड योनी शूल Ninth is a prakcharna yoni vyapad. That is because of alp vaya maithuna before getting proper maturity. Alp vaya maithuna, and basically there will be backache and lumbar pain and thigh pain and inguinal pain. Pain, pain, pain. Prakcharna yoni vyapad. Then upapluta yoni vyapad. When garbhini pregnant lady takes the kafkar ahar vihar or If there is a vega avrod, chardi and swas vega avrod, then upapluta vyani vyapat takes place, and men is a sthanik local to davat vedana and shvetas trav white discharge. I have mentioned about ten vyani vyapat in this particular period as a revision. I wish all the best for any viewer who is uh, appearing for the uh, first term examination of this uh, year. So I wish all the best. Take care. See you soon. uh with the next video thank you very much and i wish all the best take care